and just play the damn thing. So here over the last couple of weeks, you know, the, the comments just keep pouring in. Uh, and, and uh, you know, which, which is great. I'm, you know, I'm thrilled to death to see you guys, uh, you know, getting active and, you know, and engaged in the channel again. You know, I think that's, that's, that's whatever YouTube creator wants. You know, I've always prided myself on, uh, on keeping up with, comp with uh, viewer comments. I, you know, I know I don't re respond to all of them, uh, but I certainly do read them all and, uh, you know, at least, you know, hit the like button or the dislike button or whatever, uh, you know, on, on, on every single comment that is, that is left on this channel. It is now getting to the point, though, that even I'm having a harder and harder time keeping up with it. Uh, so, you know, and that's, that's a good problem to have. So, you know, thank you very much for your support. Let's read some comments. I've owned three metal zones in my life. These days, I use the one in Guitar Rig 5. It's got pre-distortion, EQ built in, knuckleheads just don't know how to sculpt their sound. Uh, you know, I absolutely agree with you on the metal zone, but... You know, that last statement in that comment, and let me re and I'll read this again. Knuckleheads just don't know how to sculpt the sound. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, man, but the, you know, guitar players are the most, you know, the biggest gatekeeping motherfuckers on the planet. Seriously, it's getting real old listening to, to all these guitar players out there say, I know how to turn knobs on my pedal better than you know how to turn knobs on your pedal. Get the fuck out of here. Once again, it does not require an engineering degree or anything close to turn knobs on a pedal to get a sound that you like out of it. And if there is, if you're not able to get a sound that you don't like out of it, that means that you don't like the pedal, and that is perfectly okay. EVH use course, and you now have zero credit. MXR M234 analog horse effect pedal in this January 2000. I'm not reading all that. It's copied and pasted from you know magazine article or something. First of all, the word you're looking for here is credibility, not credit. Yes, I am very aware that Eddie Van Halen used chorus. It's called a joke. If you're new to this channel, you might not be aware that lots of the jokes made on this channel are made specifically to trigger butthurt guitar players just like you. So with that in mind, it's probably a good thing that nobody gives a shit about your opinion of my credibility. Not a fan of the demos, not much into your playing style, it's the noodling and ob obfuscating I tune in for. Keep it up, don't change a thing. Thank you as always. Oh, the plural of phenomenon is phenomena. Just saying. Uh, you know, I mean, I, thanks, I think. <laughs> uh, you don't like my demos and you don't like my playing, but you don't want me to change a thing. Gotta love backhanded compliments. There is definitely tone in the hands. It makes a big difference in the way the pick hits the string, mostly how much of the thumb hits the string. You can make a chord sound way brighter tone by hitting the strings a certain way. Also, I want to say tone is not all in the hands. I think the two most important things, especially in high gain, are the speaker and the hands. So, in other words, what you're saying is it's the technique with which one would hit the strings of their guitar. <laughs> I understand what what you're what you're getting at, but, you know, I, my you know, my argument stays true. You will not change my mind on this. Tone is not in the hands. Technique is in the hands. Tone is in the gear. If it was in the hands, guitar players wouldn't give a shit what guitars or amps or pedals or any of that stuff that they were using, period. EOD PDS 1550. How it is programmable, I have no idea, quote unquote. I'm figuring that you have no legitimacy in even bringing it up then. Never probably touched it, I would assume. It has a 10 millisecond delay in it, which is very cool, as well as parametric EQ. Yeah, you have to have the head to know how to open it up and change the sound parameters. But that was obviously way past this video, as you actually have had to touch and play one to really know what it sounds like. Oh, one side is an overdrive, one side is an almost heavy metal distortion. It also has seven knobs on the top, not six, like you counted the fingers on one hand. I've owned one since about 1992, dipshit. This video showed up on my home screen and instantly brought a smile to my face. You used to work at GC in Castleton and you were my favorite person to deal with. I'm glad to see you have a channel and you are doing well. Rock on, Rob. I'm going to overlook the the uh, the part where you called me Rob because that drives me absolutely batshit crazy insane. But, Jason McCann, it's great to hear from you. 
I absolutely do remember you. You uh, once upon a time, uh, I think it might have been the first time that you and I, uh, you and I worked together. I think you had sold us a, I believe it was, it was a crate Blackheart. I, I don't remember the exact model, but I remember it was a Blackheart tube amp about the 20 watts or so. Uh, and you were also really, really into the uh, the GNL Rampage guitars at that time. Those were your favorites, and uh, you know I, th- I think I remember selling you one or two, uh, uh, one or two of those off the used wall as they came in. Uh, so yeah, I absolutely remember you, and uh, yeah, it's it's you know again, great to hear from you, great to hear from you, and I hope you are doing well as well. And thank you for uh, checking out my channel. I hope that you are enjoying the content. As with most things you like, I don't. If I end up watching a video of yours when it intersects with something I'm, inter- I'm interested in, I've learned that if I do the opposite of what you suggest, it works out better for me personally. Uh, well, I mean, no, nobody's nobody's kicking you out, but I mean, why are you here then? <laughs> I, you know, seriously, I mean, you know, to watch you know to watch a video you know to watch a, uh, videos on a channel whose opinions you disagree with ninety something percent of the time, uh, you know, you know, just to I I. I I, I, don't, I don't understand the logic in that. I mean, there's channels out there, who's, you know, content that I disagree with that they're the last thing I'm going to tune into. You know, just to see if they don't like it, that means I probably, you know, I, I, I don't, I, I, like I said, no, nobody's kicking you out, but I don't understand the logic in that. On the Fuzz Factory video, really try reading the instructions or watching a podcast of somebody else using it. You know what, even if you're new to this channel, if you thought that there is anything even remotely serious to be taken in that video... You're a fucking idiot. Oh, is this the guy who shits on the fuzz factory? Yeah, hi! What's your view on PV Viper modeling amps? Any good? I will die on this hill. Anytime I see, you know, that that I get a comment uh, of somebody asking me what I think about a piece of gear that isn't, you know, not so much as mentioned in in the video that they're commenting on, that usually seems to be somebody looking for purchase validation. And... I've said it over and over and over again, and I will repeat myself as many times as I need to. You know, if if you dig it, if you if you like the way that it sounds, if you like the piece of gear that is in question, who gives a shit what I think? You sure you certainly should not. You know, who cares what anybody thinks? You know, if it sounds good to you, if it plays good to you, if it looks good to you, if whatever it is, you know, whatever feature it is that you're after, if that if you know, if that is a thumbs up in you, in your mind, that's all that should matter. Who cares what I think? Who cares what anybody thinks? So that's it. That's the last question. Thank you so much for tuning into viewer comments here. Uh, I don't. This is kind of turning into a weekly uh, a weekly thing. I don't intend for it to be a weekly thing forever. But uh, here in this instance, that's just kind of the way that it's worked out. And like I said at the beginning of the video, the comments have just been pouring in here recently. Uh, and, you know, I think it's, it's only fair that, you know, I, I keep up and make sure and, uh, respond to as many of them, uh, as possible, you know, even the assholes. <laughs> so leave your comment down below. More videos to come soon. Adios.